Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Hope everybody's doing all right. And um, appreciate you as always watching the channel and uh, taking a moment to watch me talk about cards. I just uh, think it's so cool that you all do that. So I have uh, a stack here of some um, vintage commons that I wanted to show you. And it's just a blast to collect these. And they come from two sets, as I put in the description the title. First is a set that I discovered that I really like, and I only have two of them so far, but it's um, 1950 Bowman. And one of the things I love about this set is they seem to be relatively affordable. And here's a pretty good example. Um, this is Sam Zoldak. Um, but what I really like about the set is great images and kind of a unique size. It's, it's, it's smaller and almost square. Um, and they kind of fit perfectly in these Beckett shields. I don't know if I've talked about these on the channel, but um, these will hold basically, there's an old Dan Fouts card, but you know, it's tight, but they'll hold a, a standard size card. But they're kind of perfect for tobacco cards or cards like this 1950 Bowman. So anyway, that's one of them. That's uh, card 182 that I grabbed. And then the second one that I have to show you uh, is this one. And this is Harold Gilbert. But they're just really pretty cards. And I have a couple more in my ComC ready to ship um, pile. And so I'll have some more to show you down the road. But I picked up two of these, really dig them. Uh, I just think that's such a neat set and sort of Starting a, a small collection there. Uh, I love it. The other uh, set is probably more, I guess, famous, right, among collectors, and that's 1952 Tops. And I just, I love this set. I think they're so cool. They're so iconic. Such a neat design. And like a dummy, I used to have a couple, and I, for some reason, got rid of them. And I, I don't remember in what context. Maybe I was buying T206 or something like that. But Actually, the first two that I'll show you, these are cards that I had, probably in lesser grade. So I've reacquired these just because I wanted to, to replace them. So this is John Promeza um, from the Cubs. And then the other one is George Munger. I also had this card back in the day, and so I've replaced this one. So I'm just kind of looking like lots of uh, vintage that I collect. Well-centered, um, you know limited creases, that kind of thing. So those are two, but I've got quite a few others to show you. I picked up Carl Scheib, Scheib. Nice smile there. That's just such an awesome set. So I have effectively now made up for the cards that I got rid of, and now I have started to grab a few of this iconic set. It's so famous. Um, now, so there's Dale Coogan, 1952 set. I've got this one, it's kind of cool. This is a nice horizontal card, Sherman Lawler. Catcher for the White Sox. A top-notch defensive catcher. There's Ray Boone. from the Indians, card 55. So of course, who wouldn't like to have all of the 52 tops, including the mantle, of course, but that's not gonna happen, however, but I I think it's just fun to grab these. Tommy Byrne. And this one's got a little paper loss on the back there, so that's kind of a shame. You can't even tell what number that is. So I'm not sure what will happen with that one. Uh, and some of these I got in a lot, a small lot on eBay, including this one, Earl Torgerson, which is also another horizontal card. Um, but clearly it's got some kind of staining here. And I also got in a lot this Bobby Shantz, which is a great kind of filler grade card. So I'm headed to a card show next weekend, so I'm hoping that maybe uh, some dealers may have some boxes of some 52 tops and I may be able to get a few more. Or the 1950 Bowman, which would be cool too. So I'll see what I can 
uh, pick up. But thanks as always for watching. I got a bunch of videos coming up. I have a bunch of 1960 Tops commons that I've uh, got over the summer that I haven't shown you, like 40 or 50 cards, um, some Hall of Fame autos. I have two really big T206 cards I've, I've grabbed, so I'll make a video for that that I'm excited to show you. Maybe two of the biggest cards I've ever picked up. Uh, and just the usual uh, Hall of Famers, uh, 1950s, 1960s, all that kind of stuff. Some other PC cards. So please uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you have, I appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Take care.